topic is KMP. No more is prior algorithm. This is one of the pattern matching algorithm. In previous video, I have explained about basic algorithm, name or brute force algorithm. In basic algorithm, disadvantages or uh, in worst case, it requires M minus N plus 1 comparisons and time complexity in worst case, it is big O of Mn and it doesn't observe the pattern. So, these are disadvantages. So, it takes more time to search pattern in the string. These are disadvantages. And coming to KMP, it will read the pattern. Anything is repeating in pattern or not, it will read. For example, A, B, C, D, A, B, C. This is one pattern. For example, here the characters are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 characters. Total 7 characters are there. And now, first we will write prefixes. So, A is one prefix, A, B also one prefix, A, B, C prefix, A, B, C, D also prefix. So, all these are prefixes. And we will write suffix also. C is a suffix, B, C suffix, A, B, C suffix, D, A, B, C. So, these are suffixes. So, few prefixes and suffixes I have written. And in KMP, we have to create pi table or LPS table. LPS means longest prefix, same as suffix. So, that is the reason I have written prefix and suffix. Means, is there any prefix repeating in suffix or not? We have to check. The first prefix is A. A is repeating in suffix? No. Next, AB. AB is repeating in suffix? N no. Next, ABC. Yes, ABC repeating in suffix. So, this is repeating. See, ABC, it is repeating in suffix also. Like this, we have to find out any prefix is same as suffix. That is LPS table. Longest prefix is same as suffix. So, we have to assign numbers. See, A, B, C, D, A, B, C. Total, 7 characters. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 characters. See, these 3 characters again repeating here. So, we will assign 1, 2, 3. Because these 3 again repeating here. So, for remaining, we have to assign 0. Like this, we have to create LPS table. I will take few more examples. This is one more example. For this pattern, we will create LPS table. See, A. Again, here also A is repeating. Means, first character is repeating here. B. Second character repeating. Again, here also first two characters are repeating. For remaining, we have to assign 0. This is another example. See, A, B, C, A, B. Means, first two characters are Repeating here, 1, 2. Here also repeating, A, B, 1, 2. C also repeating, C is it? C is third character. C is also repeating. So, third characters again repeating. So, for remaining characters, we have to assign 0. So, this prefix, again it is repeating in suffix. So, like this, we have to create pi table or LPS table. LPS means longest prefix same as suffix. So, this is one example. In this example, I will show you how to find out the pattern is present in string or not with the help of KMP algorithm. In KMP, first of all, we have to prepare pi table or LPS table for pattern. So, in pattern, total there are 5 characters. Anything is repeating? Yes, A, B, A, B. First 2 characters again repeating. So, 1, 2. For remaining characters, we have to assign the value 0. Like this, we have to create. Now, I starts from 1. Okay? And now, J starts from 
0. In this example, I starts from 1, first character. J starts from 0. Now, what we have to compare? There is no 0th character. So, what we have to compare means, ith character and j plus 1 character we have to compare. Okay. Ith character a. j plus 1 character a. If both are matching then what we have to do? Increment i and increment j. Again. Ith character b. j plus 1 is also b. Increment i. Increment j. Ith character a. J plus 1 is also A. Increment I. Increment J. Now, I the character B. J, the car J plus 1 is also B. Increment I. Increment J. Now, I the character C. J plus 1 character is D. But these two are not matching. If these two are not matching, what we did in previous example, previous algorithm, always J move to first character. I move to second character. Like this, we'll use backtracking and J always move to first character. But this is KMP algorithm. I'll tell you what we have to move. Now, ith character J plus 1 are not matching. If these two are not matching, immediately don't move I. First, we have to move only J. So, J also don't move it to 0. zero. So, J. Jth character is B. For B, we have assigned one value that is 2. So, J move from fourth character to second character. Okay. Now, so again I am going to write A is at fourth character. J move to second character. Again, we will continue same procedure. Ith character C, J plus 1 is A. Now, these two are not matching. If not matching, what we have to move? J only we have to move. Now, J the character value it is 0. Now, we will move J from second location to 0th location. Now, I the character C. J plus 1 is A. So, again these two are not matching. If these two are not matching, we will move J. Already J is at 0th position. Beyond this, you cannot move J. If we are not able to move J, in that case only, we have to move I. Increment I value by 1. Just observe one more thing. We are incrementing I value. We are not using backtracking. So, that is the difference between basic algorithm and KMP algorithm. Okay. Now, again, Ith character A, J plus 1 is also A. Increment I and increment j. Now, ith character b. j plus 1 is also b. Increment i, increment j. ith character c, j plus 1 is a. So, not matching. If not matching, what we have to do? j move from second to j. The character assigned value is 0. So, again we will move j to 0th location. Okay. Now, so now j Move from second character to 0. Now, ith character C. J plus 1 is A. Now, C and A not matching. Then we have to move J. But we are unable to move J. Because already J is in 0th character. So, beyond this you cannot move. In that case, what we have to do? Increment I value by 1. Okay. Now, what is ith character A? J plus 1 is also A. So, increment i and increment j. Now, i the character b, j plus 1 is also b. Increment i and increment j. i the character a, j plus 1 is also a. Increment i and increment j. i the character b, j plus 1 is also b. Increment i and increment j. Now, i the character A, j plus 1 is D. So, these two are not matching. So, these two are not matching. Then, what we have to do? J move from 4th character to j th character value is 2. We will move from 4th character to 2nd character. Now, j move from 4th character to 2nd. j is at 2nd. Now, i the character is A. j plus 1 is A. So, both are matching. 
So next we'll move. Next remaining characters we have to compare. Just you observe one thing, then what is the advantage of KMP you can understand. So it is reading the pattern, clearly it is reading pattern. So AB, AB, both again AB is repeating here. That is the reason J, we are not moving to 0th character. This AB already we have compared with these two. This AB, this AB also same. That is the reason we are moving J to second character. So from here onwards, you can compare A, B, D. You are not moving J to first character or zero. It means a starting character. That is the advantage of KMP. Now J, J plus 1 is A. Ith character is also A. So now increment I and increment J. Now Ith character B, J plus 1 is also B. Increment I, increment J. Now Ith character D, J plus 1 is also D. So like this. We have to find out the pattern is present in string or not. The main advantage of KMP is we are not using backtracking. So it requires less number of comparisons. It reduces number of comparisons. And one more, it is observing the pattern. That is the advantage. Every time blindly we are not moving J to 0. Okay, based on this character only we are moving. So, automatically it reduces number of comparisons. This is the advantage of KMP algorithm.